um, when you're looking at a problem like this, when you have two terms and you're trying to factor, there's only two things that we talked about. <laughs> There's two things that we've talked about in this class when factoring with two terms. We can factor when we have difference of two squares, which you went over, which is on there. Um, also factoring out your GCF. Here, we look at this and we say, all right, is 8 or x cubed, are those square numbers? Can I take the square root of those numbers? No. One is a square number, right? But 8x cubed is not a square number. So I can't take the square root of it, right? Um, they don't have any common factors, so I can't factor out any GCF. So the next thing would be looking for the difference of two cubes which is like the difference of two squares, except it's, now we're trying to see is cubed numbers. So again, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a cubed equals 8x cubed, and does b cubed equal 1? So I'm saying, is, is 8x cubed, is that a cubed number? Is that a cubed term? Can I take the cube root of that? Yes. So to do that, I'm simply going to take the cube root, because basically what I want to do is identify what a and b are. Because, if, ladies and gentlemen, if I can identify what a and b is, I can just plug them into this equation. And it's really that simple. So by taking the cube root, I get a equals the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of 1 is obviously just 1. So now I know a is 2x and b is equal to 1. So by plugging them into this equation, I have 2x minus 1 times a squared, which is 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared, plus 2 times a times b. 2 times a, which is 4x, times b. So that's still going to be 4x. And then plus 1 b squared, which is 1. And that is your factored form.